Hello everybody, C-Slug here and welcome back to more Mario Kart Double Dash. Uh, yeah, anyway, I will be doing the last cup of this uh, game. Uh, it's not going to be the last video, there's still some other stuff that's going to be need or that's going to have to be covered before, you know, I finish this project. But for right now, I'm going to be doing Special Cup in 150cc now that we unlocked it from, uh, 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 from the last video we did. Anyway, if by uh, for beating Special Cup in 150 CC, you get a reward. Uh, I mean, in 150 CC, you get a pretty cool reward. However, in uh, what's called, if you beat it in 100 CC, you get a much better reward, in my opinion. So before I started this, I was actually contemplating uh, again playing in 100 cc over 150 cc and maybe showing off some more uh, big characters but uh nope you know what's good it's you know the final uh, cup and i almost got hit by that shell there it's, you know it's the final cup you know might as well just do it in 150 cc and god damn it i fell off but yeah the two characters i'm using right now is uh, diddy kong and bowser jr which in my opinion are probably some of the best characters uh, that you can use uh, simply because of their items and also the fact that they're small uh, but yeah as you've seen there uh, Bowser's Jr. special I'm pretty sure you've already seen it before in the past but Bowser's Jr. special is his gigantic freaking Koopa shell of destruction and uh, Diddy Kong special is this gigantic banana which is not as good as the big Koopa shell in my opinion but it's still pretty damn good uh, basically the way the banana works is you set it down, it's, you know, kind of a, god damn it, fucking peach right there. Uh, but yeah, you set it down, it's, uh, kind of a big obstacle, and then once somebody hits it, uh, it turns into three smaller bananas, so it's pretty good. Not necessarily the best, uh, but it's good in the fact that you can get it, even if you're, like, in first or second, you still have pretty good chances of getting it. Uh, and I believe the shell, you also have some pretty good chances of getting it if you're in first or uh, second, third. Uh, but yeah, we're actually in fourth right now, which is not good. Uh, this is Warrior Coliseum, so we are already in the final lap. Uh, this is this track is actually kind of special in terms that it's a very, very big course, and uh, because of that, they decided to uh, set the default uh, lap amount to two laps instead of the normal three, and uh, the. And, I don't know, I guess a fun thing that you can do, I guess you can say, is go into the options mode of this game. And the options mode lets you change the versus settings uh, to change how many laps you want to do, uh, like, in all. Uh, it would have been nicer if you could change the amount of laps you can do for every course individually, but you could, uh, like, you, you can only change them for all the cups. And uh, one kind of fun thing you could do is uh, change the lap default to 9 and then play this course. So you're basically doing uh, this course uh, 9 laps, which, you know, it's a very big course. I like to think of this course as being a lap and a half of every other course, that, since that just makes the most sense. But yeah, we got there, which it's pretty bad, but I'm actually kind of happy we got it considering how badly I was doing there at the beginning. But I'm pretty sure I can catch up. Uh, the next three courses are actually uh, kind of hard, kind of easy, it kind of just depends how it's going to go. But here we have probably one of my favorite uh, tracks of this game. I really like this track and I am I was pretty happy it came back in uh, Mario Kart 7. And uh, it's Dino Dino Jungle. And uh, the thing about this course is you got this big dinosaur right here. Well, you, you got more dinosaurs, but this is like the main one. You got this big one where uh, in the bottom you kind of have to watch out for his legs. And uh, once we get a little bit more on top, we're gonna have to. Uh, I, we're actually gonna see his face or his head, which I always thought that was a really cool thing. How they kind of got two uses out of one dinosaur. Uh, but another kind of funny thing that I remember doing as a kid was uh, playing as big. Uh, or I got the big banana, uh, the special the big banana, and then I actually threw it on top of that uh, dinosaur's head right there. And I don't remember exactly how that looked, but I think. It actually stayed on his head for quite a while. I don't think it stayed on there for all too long, but I... I don't know, but it was still pretty funny. We landed a giant banana on top of the uh, dinosaur's head. And I actually have a big banana right now, which is awesome, because I am actually going to try to 
uh, replicate that. And wow, we actually have a pretty good lead. Uh, I mean, Bowser has a pretty good lead on uh, Baby Luigi, and we have a pretty good lead on Bowser, uh, which is nice. But anyway, here comes the giant. Uh, here comes the part. Let's see here. Nope, I completely missed, but at least I set down the banana in a, I don't know, in a pretty good position on that bridge. And wow, we got another one. See, this is why the Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong special is so good. It's just the fact that you get it so often in first place. Ah, uh, man. Uh, like, for the next Mario Kart, whenever that is, I really hope they go back to, like, uh, having two racers on the same car. Like, I really hope that someday they bring that back, because Mario Kart 8, that game was just so amazing. I honestly just can't imagine how they will, how they could possibly, like, you know, top that. Besides introducing, like, a little gimmick like this, where, you know, you have two racers. Uh, anyway, in this room, I guess I haven't really talked about... I guess I haven't really, really talked about this room right here. Uh, there's a couple interesting things. I really like those uh, water... Uh, not not waterfalls, the, the little water sprouts coming out of the ground. I kind of like how uh, that mechanic works. Uh, but also in that room there is a shortcut which you either need a mushroom or a star for and unfortunately I wasn't able to show it off. But I'm sure I'll get uh, another chance later on since this isn't going to be the last time we play through some of these uh, tracks here. And we got first place. It doesn't quite put us in first, but it does put us in uh, pretty close second, which is nice. Uh, I'm really hoping I don't screw up in the next two uh, courses here. Uh, but anyway, now we got Bowser's course, which this is, has to be one of my favorite Bowser courses, like out of all of them. Uh, for a couple different reasons. One of them is actually kind of funny because. Uh, you can easily say the same thing about Mario Kart 8, but it has to be this song. I actually really like this song. Like, when I was a kid, and still, I, like, I like, really like the song. Uh, this song, I know they brought it back in Mario Dance Dance Revolution for, like, the final battle with Bowser. I know they brought it back, although in that game it was a bit of a more sped up version, I believe. Uh, Unfortunately, I can't really listen to it because I have the speakers on like extremely low, so just so the mic doesn't pick them up. But I don't know; it's a good song. I like it. I just like the like mainly. I like the melody. And uh, another another really cool thing about this board is it's a little shortcut that you can do right here is uh, that right there. Uh, you don't need any mushrooms, as as you saw right there. I kind of did it without using any items. However, you do gotta watch out for that Bowser statue shooting fireballs. You wanna make sure. Uh, he's not going to shoot a fireball through the shortcut right there while you're going through it. So that's really the only thing about, you know, taking that shortcut. Uh, I guess if you want to, like, drift, you can, you know, drift while you're in the air to try to position yourself uh, for the turn that, you know, comes right after that. But, you know, it's a pretty easy shortcut to do. And, of course, you also got a ramp right here. Uh, I really like this ramp. You know, you just kind of just go up in a turn. Uh, can't really think of any other courses in the game that have something like that, but yeah, I'm kind of running out of things to say, really. Anyway, let's see right here. You got these arrows just showing you where to go with those angry freaking eyes. Uh, but wow, we actually have a really good lead. See, this is why I like uh, small people. It's, just, it's so much easier to... Oh, God, a blue shell. God damn it. But still, doesn't matter where he's at. I have such a good lead. Alright, pick up two items. Let's see here. And I got Baby Bowser's Bezel. She, this is why these characters are just so good. It's just, you get their specials in first freaking place just like that. I'm gonna see if I can ha get both of their specials at the same time. And nope, that blue shell is gonna ruin that. Damn it. Oh shit, I'm going backwards. What the fuck? <laughs> the bl I don't know what happened there, but I got turned around, which sucks. And Oh man, I cannot let them win. I just cannot let them win. I think even if I beat them, I'll probably still be in... I'll probably, uh... I might just still be in first, but I don't remember exactly. I think Bowser, uh, was my, uh, like, the main... Yeah, Bowser and Waluigi are, like, the main ones in terms of points right now. God damn it, wow, I got... Ah. And they crashed the wall, wow. How stupid of them. I hate, yeah, that it's really sucks when that happens when you mess up a turn and you crash the wall like that. You just lose so much time. Oh wow, I actually screwed that up. 
Oh, well, thankfully they kind of got themselves in a bad position there. But yeah, I I kind of feel like I should have probably lost this race. I don't know, me and Waluigi were just screwing up way too much. And Waluigi and Bowser got second. They still somehow managed to get second. I'm actually kind of surprised they did that. But anyway, there it is. 26-26, it all comes down to this final race. Which is... Rainbow Road. Now this Rainbow Road, I absolutely love this Rainbow Road. I think I talked about it a lot in my last video, I don't remember, but I absolutely love the music in this course. Uh, man, this has to be my favorite Rainbow Road, and the song here has to be my favorite Rainbow Road song. Even topping the one in uh, Super Mario Kart and all of its awesome remixes that it has. I, this is still by far my favorite Rainbow Road song. And if I could just win this track, I should be able to get the uh, trophy. Which would be nice, only having to do this cup once. Oh man, I really wish- I really want to turn off the uh, speakers right now just so I can listen to the song. Anyway, right here you have a ton of boosters, or I guess, yeah, boosters, or whatever they're called. I don't know. Uh, you know, try to take as many of them, of course. And as you saw right there, there is a little star kind of just traveling about, and wow, I actually got them. Uh, yeah, in this course, uh, as you see, there's like shooting stars. Sometimes those stars will actually land on the track, and they will become a star item that you can actually pick up. Uh, you know, which is nice. It's, I guess, a way that you can potentially get a star in first, which is always really cool. And uh, right here, you got another one of those ramps like in Bowser's Castle, only this time it's going down. And uh, that ramp right there is actually a pretty cool place to put items because it's kind of hard to dodge when you're, you know, going in a certain... Oh, God, he got me with that fucking shell. I didn't even see that coming at all. Oh, my God, this is horrible. I am in fourth. Crap. Yeah, and I gotta make sure I beat Bowser and Waluigi to win. I, I just have to make sure that happens. Yeah, we're like halfway done with the second lap. I this I don't know, this could be bad. And yeah, also putting items right here is also a pretty good spot. Uh you know, for items just because I don't know, it's kinda tricky to dodge them right there, so you know. Uh giant banana. Well it's not really gonna help me catch up, but I guess I could just use it to screw over Daisy and uh Paracoopa. I got another special. I guess I should probably switch over to Baby Bowser to see if I can maybe get the ah, the big Koopa shell. Like, I think that would help me a lot more. All right, final lap. We're about to catch up to Bowser and Waluigi. So, all right. Hopefully this gets him. And it's taking its time, but it missed. Damn it. Uh, right here, you can actually dodge uh, red Koopa shells if you like do your turns correctly through this section right here. And God, you want to be careful not to fall off right there. They pu purposely took off those uh, rails at the end, or you know, like those dark thingies. Oh my God! Okay, I got the big Koopa shell, but this is not the place to use it. I guess I should have saved it. Oh my god, these bananas! They're so scary! I swear, I don't think I'm- oh wait, ah, oh, goddammit. Alright, this is real close right here. I have a banana and a red shell, so hopefully I can do pull this off. I was actually hoping that banana would get them, but they get hit by a banana and then they get hit by my red shell. Alright, I am in first. I just gotta keep this up for a little bit longer. Oh god! Damn it! No! God! No! Fuck! God fucking damn it! <coughs> God! That was bullshit! What the hell? 36... Fuck! Well, I really don't feel like... Starting the recording all over again, so... Ah, man, this sucks. I guess I'm just gonna have to do this off-screen. So, 
Yep, there's the silver trophy. That's what a silver trophy looks like. Who knows, I might actually get to show off a bronze trophy, but... Yeah, second place, that sucks. What do you get for getting second place? You get jack shit, so... Yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna cut away to actually winning the cup, so see you guys in a bit. Alright, and for clearing 150cc special cup, you get the Autor Cup, which is just a way of them adding replay value to this game, which... I don't know. I, I honestly really like the Ortor Cup, however, what I don't like about it is the fact that you have to play it again in 50 and 100 CC, which is just aggravating. Uh, especially 50 CC. I, ah uh, man, I'm really glad I'm not making a video of that because it's literally just gonna be me being bored for like 16 cups just because 50 CC is just so goddamn easy, really. Alright, so for clearing 50cc special cup, you get the bullet bill, or the bullet pill cart, uh, which is basically Bowser Jr.'s uh, special car, or you know, like his own personal ride in this game. Uh, it's a pretty cool car, although I never really use it, I usually just go with, uh, I usually just go with other ones like uh, the Paracoupa cars and uh, the babies. Alright, and for beating Special Cup in, not, yeah, Special Cup in 100cc, you get the best reward there is in this whole game and any game ever, ever. And that is, you get Toad and Toadette there, which is just amazing. Oh man, I was really happy when I uh, saw that these two guys were playable characters in uh, Double Dash. Uh, because, I mean, these two guys are like, you know, like the first unlockable characters in any Mario Kart game, which is just awesome. And I believe this is the introduction to Torette. I believe this is the first game she appeared in. Uh, for the longest time, I don't know why, but for the longest time I thought uh, her first game was in Mario Party 3. I thought she was like the person that was in charge of, of the room where you can pick any minigame you want to play. Uh, but no, it's actually Mario Kart Double Dash, which is, uh, you know, it's pretty awesome. So that's definitely one of my favorite uh, Mario characters. And, uh, yeah, I just, I'm fi I'm really happy we finally got Toad and Toadette because it's been a while. Like, we literally just did every single uh, cup. But there's still more to do. As you know, we still got the mother, the goddamn all tour uh, cups to do in at least for me in 50 and 100 uh, it's gonna be really aggravating doing it in 50 and also like in 100 just because I really just don't like how slow especially 50 cc is it's honestly kind of boring just because of how easy it is but uh, I will be showing off 100 cc or 150 cc or tour so that means we're gonna be doing every single uh, track again and it's gonna be a lot of fun and, and it's probably gonna end up being a pretty long video so yeah thank you guys for watching you know hope you guys enjoyed and yeah i'll see you guys in the all tour cup later folks